Hey, what's up everyone? Hope you're all doing well and staying healthy. I unfortunately haven't been able to take the bikes out to the track and break them in properly. So instead here I am just getting set up to ride for the day that I can go ride. New to the channel is my other RM250, also a 2001, but I won't show too much of her. I really wanted to make a video showing both of them at the track the day that I got to ride them and fully break them in. So that's, that's still on the agenda. The backstory actually is that this bike that you're looking at, I bought as a spare bike for parts as um, my other RM250 was having a bottom end redone. But then when Cameron launched the Team Prime Challenge, then that idea went out the window and I decided to build a fully custom bike. Tons of fun, I'd do it again. Um, next time I'd do it on someone else's dime, but it was a hell of an experience. I really enjoyed it and the bike came out freaking awesome. So for today's video, we're gonna jump into talking about filter skins. I've never actually used filter skins in my life, but I never used tear-offs before this year either, and now I won't ride without them. So I'm worth, uh, it's worth giving it a try, I should say. Uh, what I'm looking at is the PC Racing filter skins. I think they're about 15 bucks they retail for, for a three pack. Um, you know, I think on Rocky Mountain, they're on sale for like 12 bucks. So. You know, we go figure somewhere between four and five bucks a skin versus the about $10 for the pre-oiled Maxima uh, filters that I currently buy. I love those, but if this can help out and make a quick change for those days that I go riding, you know, back to back and I just have to rip off a quick skin, it seems like a no-brainer. So let's give it a try and uh, see what everything looks like and what we're gonna be using. So like I said, these are the filter skins from PC Racing. I've only got two of them out right here, one for each bike gonna be using some gloves to keep the hands clean because it's never fun to mess around with that air filter oil and in my case an 8 mil just to get the seats off so two bolts to get the seats off I might do the filters as well but they were both uh, you know again they came pre-oiled it looked pretty good uh, one of the filters does have some red on it that's the old uh, PJ1 filter foam that I used to use spray on it's pretty easy to do you can just pretty much do it on on the bike almost if you're willing to uh, but now I've moved over to this um, FFT by Maxima and we'll do it in the tub, you know, tripping a little bit at a time over each one of the filter skins, getting them nice and, and moist as recommended by PC Racing. And then we'll go ahead and slip them on over the filters. So. Both filter skins are installed in the bikes. At this point, they just need to go get ridden, get a little dirty, and see how clean they keep the air filters underneath. So I'm really looking forward to 
hopefully testing these guys out one day. Um, coronavirus has me on lockdown over here, so we're not leaving the house anytime soon. But as soon as we get to, we'll go ride. Looking forward to it. See you guys next time. Thanks for tuning in.